Good evening everyone. I'm going to show you something tonight that's not particularly special or valuable or anything like that, but something that's a little bit uh, a little bit unique. It's a Telefunken model 1010 series um, CD player. And it's kind of kind of unique because I've it's Telefunken, you don't see Telefunken equipment in Canada. You haven't for years and at the last the last Telefunken stuff I remember seeing was the old tube table radios with the big short wave and stuff like that that you see back in the 1960s. So when I came across this as, as part of a system that I purchased, um, it was a bit of a surprise. I also th thought this was a little bit unusual because it says here, Lloyd's Electronics Limited, Don Mills, Ontario. Now, Lloyd's was the purveyor of crap electronics in the 70s and the 80s. And they kind of disappeared, uh, which leads me to believe that Lloyd's had some kind of agreement with Telefunken to produce for them some CD players in the 1980s. And I believe this is a 1980s CD player. It's a fairly early one, I think. And I'll show you why inside. I'm going to turn this around. Get focused up here. This is this uh, the DAC the digital analog converter and it's a Sony 20017 and the 20017 was the uh, original DAC that was used in the original CDP 101 Sony CD player that came out back in 1982 and uh, leads me to believe that this is kind of a, maybe a mid 80s or early 80s CD player. Now looking at the front and doing research for this just back off a bit here for you Telefunken digital linear skate loading system and this is not working, the transport does not work in this we have the digital uh, digital track index it says here two speed I don't know if I can get closer on this two-speed manual music search 16-bit digital analog converter which is I think the Sony DAC and uh, I, I looked online to see this is you know it plays one CD so I went to Sony's website and uh, looked to see what what CD players Sony have available right now to purchase because you don't really see CD players around anymore it's obsolete technology. CD players are almost obsolete technology now. Um, Sony have a, a, a carousel, a five CD caros carousel that they sell. It's available on their website and you can buy them in the stores. They no longer have a CD player that plays one CD. And I was looking on the internet to see you know, if other companies do. And really there aren't very many around anymore. There aren't that many CD players and there aren't very many that play just one CD. So it's it's obsolete technology to go to a store and buy a CD player that will play one CD. That uh, kind of caught me by surprise. And uh, it just shows you how far technology has changed just in the past, you know, even 10 years or so, that you can't really go out and buy that easily a one CD CD player. I know that you know DVD players will play CDs, but to buy a, a dedicated one CD CD player is a difficult thing to do. I think now, and I'm sure that you know the radio stations must have them. They must buy commercial or industrial grade CD players for use in the radio stations. But for somebody that wants to just go to the store and buy one, you're going to have some problems. So uh, next time you go to a garage sale and you see a CD player, you know, have a think about it. It's uh, I know CDs are kind of obsolete technology. We all love our vinyl, especially us vinyl zombies. But um, but CD is going the way of the dodo, and the CD players have already gone the way of the dodo. Thanks for watching.